Now, you can actually follow the vault on Twitter, which I have. Uh, their handle is at Global Seed Vault. Uh, so, personally, I think it's really cool that this seed vault exists. Um, but I, since I didn't really know it existed until recently, I, I wanted to ask a couple questions to the experts so I could learn more about it. So, I actually tweeted... Um, that the two questions that I have for the vault itself and recent depositors, which were uh, at the time, it looks like CI Potato, which is the International Potato Center, um, Go Vegetables, which is the World Vegetable Center, and Seeds, Seed Savers Exchange. Um, my, qu my two questions to them were, A, what is the end goal for the Global Seed Vault as you see it? And then B, how can we basically the people uh, who are listening to this podcast or see this tweet, uh, help you reach that goal. So what is the goal and then how can we help? And it's cool. I actually got some responses back. Um, so I want to share those with you guys real quick. Um, AgroBioDiverse responded to me on Twitter. And uh, AgroBioDiverse said that what we can do is we can make sure that the seed collections in gene banks around the world can be replaced if anything happens to them. That's basically the end goal for the seed vault. So they want to make sure that, once again, we have some sort of crazy situation. Maybe it's a nuclear war or a comet impact or any of the crazy things that could possibly happen to us uh, on this rock that we live on that's hurtling through space. Um, in case any of those crazy scenarios happen, they want to be sure that we can replace uh, the current uh, seed collections from gene banks in case that uh, apocalyptic scenario happens. And then uh, how can we help them with that goal? They said, uh, tell your governments and private companies that you do business with to support gene banks of all kinds and uh, tell your friends to tell them as well. So you need to support the gene banks is basically their answer to that question. And that makes sense. I think uh, just being aware that the seed vault exists is a good thing uh, in general. I think being aware that people are taking these steps uh, is awesome. So anyway, I also got a response from the World Vegetable Center, which uh, is pretty awesome. So the World Vegetable Center said that uh, we keep duplicates of our gene bank seed in the global seed vault. Should something, flood, fire, earthquake, civil unrest, you name it, damage or destroy our seed, we can retrieve those duplicates and rebuild our collection. That's what the Global Seed Vault is for. How to help, they said. Encourage your elected officials to establish fair policies, support and fund efforts to rescue, collect, and protect and share plant genetic resources. So basically, we want to support and fund the efforts to rescue, collect, protect, and share all of the plant resources from the whole uh, globe, which I'll be honest, definitely an ambitious goal um, for anyone. Definitely uh, something that is going to take a lot of effort, I think, just generally speaking. But right there, I think that they're saying, like, you know, find the area of that that you think you can help and just try to do your part. And I think if you break things down um, and make them a little more simple like that, you can absolutely find a way to uh, a way to help. So. They also said that another way that uh, we can kind of help them reach their goal is to demand diversity in your food supply. If customers want it, farmers will grow it. Use is key to protecting the plants that support healthy lives and livelihoods. And I think that's really cool. Um, demanding diversity in the food supply is like an interesting idea. I think we have become so accustomed to just a certain diet, and most people do over time, right? Maybe it's the one you grew up with. Maybe you're... you're you know, I've made some changes in your lifestyle. And so now you're on one diet or another. Um, you know, my fiance is a clinical dietitian. And so, you know, we pay a lot of attention in our house to just, uh, you know, what we eat. But I think, you know, regardless of what it is that you yourself uh, like to eat, what they're basically saying here is try to demand more diversity in the food supply. Um, because, then they have to grow it. And then, uh, you know, we have to put it in the seed vault and it helps grow the vault and uh, helps grow the diversity of crops that they have in there. Um, because, I mean, it looks like 4.5 million isn't enough. You know, they want more in there. And I think that's really awesome.